40%, 45% of the American people believe literally in Adam and Eve, believe literally that the world is only 6,000 years old. I mean, that's a shocking figure, and you can't duck out of it. How many of you believe in God? <laughs> okay, a forest of hands. So Richard Dawkins, these people are deluded. All, every single one of them. Well, I fear that's right, yes. Um, I would say it's rather like the phenomenon of the imaginary friend that children have and that comfort them and console them. But there's actually not the slightest shred of evidence that any kind of supernatural being exists. So I'm sorry to say, deluded, yes. Teach the controversy rather than try and censor out the information that shows yes. that evolution you know, is, is questionable. Seriously, there isn't a controversy. There may be a controversy uh, within evolution about certain details, but the, the fact of evolution is is uncontroversial. I mean, whether you like it or not, we're cousins of chimpanzees, we're slightly more distant cousins of monkeys. Let me just quote you, if I, if I, if I may. The most unpleasant character in all fiction, misogynistic, homophobic, racist, genocidal, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, and you go on. It's, it's quite a list. That you... I should have thought that was beyond dispute, but I, I would come on to the, to the New Testament. What about the God of the New Testament? Um, here we have a God who wanted to forgive mankind its sins, including, by the way, the sin of Adam, who he presumably knew perfectly well never existed. Nevertheless, he wanted to forgive mankind's sins. Why didn't he just forgive them? Why was it necessary to have a human sacrifice, to have his son tortured and executed in order that the sins of mankind should be absolved. Is that not the most disgusting idea you ever heard? Why didn't he just forgive the sins? Why did he have to sacrifice a scapegoat? I would like to ask you, Professor, what do you have to say to someone, to someone who has met the risen and living Lord Jesus Christ, who has walked with God for over 50 years? <coughs> if you had been born in India, I dare say you would be saying the same thing about Lord Krishna and Lord Shiva. If you had been born in Afghanistan, I dare say you would be saying the same thing about Allah. The human mind is extremely susceptible to hallucination.